Good morning, Reefers. I don't know. This is more of Coral Lust. Um, you guys are seeing a bunch of rocket enemies that I just took pictures of. And I will be posting these on eBay because the website's not up and running right now. I'm um, sorry for you guys. I know I keep saying it, but I'm trying to work with a lot of people. And I've noticed with starting this store that I need more, um, more people like me. <laughs> it's hard to delegate work when nobody knows what they're doing. So... I always tell people what to do and then they come back and just ask me, what'd you say? So I end up doing the work myself pretty much anyway, most of the time, which is frustrating. So if a miracle happens and the electrician comes in this week and he said it shouldn't take him too long, but that should be done pretty soon. So if that gets done this week and then the artist comes next week, I'll be in a pretty good mood. So we ordered the slat wall, we ordered the shelving, the store is coming along. Um, you know, we got the sand waterfall tank up and the bottle worm tank, and that's our next project. So this is going to be the volcano tank over there. And these are our new kiosk systems for the store. So I got to go drop these off tomorrow, and hopefully those will be situated. But I'm just going over more fun stuff, more layout, paying more bills. <laughs> um, I keep looking at everything and made it out quick. Um, yeah, Looking Glass Reef, man, how you doing? Gabriel, I'm glad to hear from you. You always brighten my day, Gabriel, when I see you pop up. It's just, it's that picture of you with the dog. I don't know, it just makes me happy when I see it. Um, <laughs> so I'm struggling, like I said, this morning, guys. I don't know if I worked out too hard yesterday, but I'm beat. Um, and just trying to figure this stuff out. Like I said, I feel frustrated because I wanted this done three months ago. Um, but now I'm going through, if you guys are Red Sea Reefer fans, I'm going through right now and trying to pick out where I'm going to put my Red Sea tanks. So if any of you know Red Sea Company, I'm pretty new to their systems, but I'm thinking, I think they have two Peninsula tanks, and I'm going to put two Peninsula tanks here. So when you walk in, this is just the party zone right here. This is where all the music's happening, the drinks are being passed out. Um, and then I need some dividers. So the paludarium tanks here, and then I'm, I'm thinking about doing two peninsula tanks there. So, so hopefully they walk, uh, work out <laughs> in the retail counter. The thing is with what, what I want custom stuff, it's so hard to find people who do this kind of carpentry. You know, a lot of people do the finishing touches and the trim and the design, but I actually got to build this whole retail system here. Same with the back, the sink, and the faucet. Now I can make this with two by fours and pretty much just frame it out. That's not really an issue, but I just don't want to, you know, be doing things twice. So I'm going to try to figure all this out. Um, let's see who looks good. Hey, Carlos. Thank you, Amir. And I will definitely try to keep these videos coming for you guys. Um, so I've been spending like my off days training like new employees and stuff and trying to get things together. But the problem with training is you don't get a lot done when you're training people. Anyone who's had to work out a job and you're training a new employee, you realize productivity tends to drop actually during training session. So here's all these rocket enemies. I took these pictures yesterday, but I have literally had these for sale. Oh my God, for like two months. They've been sitting in my tank. Nobody knows about them. And they're just, you know. They're just sitting there. So, as a special, uh, my delayed Black Friday, Cyber Sunday, Monday deals, I'm just going to post these for sale. So, when they sell, they sell, um, but they're all going to be posted at a great price. So, they're pretty much discounted, bare bottoms. Um, so, if you don't get a discount on top of the Rock and Enemies, uh, you're just, I'm sorry. But, like, let's just pick out a price. Most of these are going to be, I want to say $27, uh, maybe the nicer, nicer ones will be like 34 but anyone who's got a thing for rock and enemies, you can find these on eBay later on, and I'll post some pictures on Facebook, so, and Instagram, and I'll try all that stuff, but I also have some other corals, um, let's see what's looking at here, so we took the pictures, we did the gear, we did all that fun stuff, the sweatshirt, um, Gabriel, you should get that in five days, your sweatshirt, I think... The one I sent you is this one right here. So there you go, Gabriel. No, wait. That's not the one. That's the different one. You got... Hold up. 
Now I gotta double check. Where's the black sweatshirt? Must be on another page. Because I know that's not the right one. There's a white one. It has a big white... Um, Where's the white one? Now I'm like confused. I'm like, it was here a minute ago, but I probably moved it somewhere. So let's go back. Um, different days. Everything getting shipped in different days. That's why it's hard to find stuff. Um, but it's this one, but in black. There it is. Heck yeah. Boom. That sweatshirt is killer. I absolutely love that. But I ordered this with black and orange, but they... They messed up and sent in white. So we should be getting the orange one soon. But check this out. Out of the cooler bags, definitely a great way to go to frag shows. Um, carry your corals around. You're not going to leave this somewhere. and No one's going to, you know, you can't misplace this. It's bright orange and black and says CRS on it. So those cooler bags are hot. Definitely want to get those out and available for people, especially people who order all the time. You know what I mean? It's, it's a great thing to have. I could probably... Orders over $250. you will have to check my um, price points, but maybe I can include stuff like that for free with the larger orders. So there's that. And then Olympus camera. Let me show you. I took some pictures of some other corals. Just have to see how these dates go. Nope. That's not it. I took that for someone else. People always ask me. They're like, can you take a picture of a coral? And I feel like an idiot. Um, but what I should do. Where's the other one? Here it is is Carlos, man, as, thanks. Definitely have to get you a hoodie. Um, I'll be putting all those up later on on the website. I did talk to my website guy and I said, come on, man, Friday. I said, please ha help me out by Friday. So if he's watching, maybe we'll have it done. So let me see what Amir said. Four, send me pictures, four to five of them. Amir, are you talking about the um, the rocking enemies? <laughs> or do you want to buy four to five sweatshirts? Because I could do that. Um, see, these are all chalices, too. I took these pictures of... You guys would not believe this, okay? I took the crappiest system I have, the worst lighting I have, and I put these chalices under there, and they were growing faster and better than my Orphic LEDs. Now I'm thinking maybe because they were not bothered, they were left alone... Maybe it was the lower flow and the lower lighting, but coral placement is everything because this thing was dead. I came back and over glue the plug and it is just the bomb. So this chalice piece right here, that's a $35 chalice this week. I mean, it's gone. I'm putting that for sale and that piece normally would sell for probably like 150. So that's a wicked, wicked chalice. And it's pretty big, actually. Let me see what else I have on here. So the live coral sales and stuff, once we get the new store up, I got the new camera going. Um, so we will have some crazy, crazy pictures for you guys in the future. One of the things, like I said, I, I'm so passionate about this is I just want to bring you guys the best of the best I can. You know, if I can make a little profit and keep myself alive, I will be very happy. But I really just want to give people very relaxful, peaceful fish tanks. So the coral tends to be more higher. You know, people who are extreme hobbyists get into all the corals. But just the sand waterfall, man, that thing's so peaceful. I literally sit there and I paint and almost watch that thing. And it's, it's just awesome. So I'm very pleased I put that back together. Um, but man, these Fabias are just dope. Look at this. And this is a, my old camera. That's not even the new one. And I'm actually pleased with that. So. I try, Gabriel. Like, honestly, I pick you guys and I give you the, the best I have if I can. Um, if I know what you like and I know what you bought or what's in your fish tank. Check that out. These, um, these Zoas overgrew this plug and that's a $25 Zoanthid frag. So. Anybody who wants, like I said, awesome pieces, I'm just knocking the prices down and hoping they all clear out by the week. So I can't go really too low. I owe eBay. I have to pay eBay without my website. They get 8%. PayPal gets, I think, a few more percent. Then I pay my monthly subscription fees, my internet fees, and everything else. So this business right now is basically a charity um, for, for my uh, 
friends and family who like coral, basically. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> the website's down and the only people who buy coral are repeat customers. All right, my phone just crashed on me again. Um, those of you who can see, I'm trying to grow a beard. I've never done it before. Um, itches like hell, but yeah, that's that. So let's turn this around. Let me get back to what I'm showing you. All right, there's so much fire here. I left this tank alone. Guys, the lights, you would not believe it. Those T5s from Home Depot are growing all these chalices. These were all dead corals, like completely, I killed them in my tank under my LEDs. I burned them to, the, to, a, to a crisp. I threw them under that light. Everything came back in just banging colors. I mean, it, they're so vibrant. Be careful what you do with your corals and your lighting. I, I cook these. Like I said, my Orphic LEDs, you do not put chalices next to acros. You just don't do it. Um, but a lot of times I put them up there to take pictures for you guys and I get busy and I'll leave them there sometimes because I center the corals under the camera and under the lighting and dude, they get cooked. So check this thing out. That's a chalice. It's got golden yellow eyes. It's like a ruby. I don't even know what color that is. The blue rim. So... Yeah, these are just mesmerizing. This one I think is my favorite. It, it almost looks like it's going to explode into 50 colors. Like it's green and red. It just looks like it's growing out the side of this coral. So I think I showed you guys that one like 50 times already. Jeremy, I haven't heard from you in a while. Um, things have been crazy, so I haven't even caught up with you. But the website and stuff, is yours is probably 10 times better than mine by now. <laughs> the way you keep adding stuff to your page. But... All right, guys, look at this. $25 Zoanthus. Normally, these things would be like 80 bucks. I'm not even kidding. Everything I'm doing, like all frags all day, $25 frags. Maybe maybe that's a good thing. So we'll see what happens there. More rock anemones. Those things are gorgeous. Look at that green. That's the Grinch that stole Christmas right there. That is the coolest rock anemone. Super green. Anyone who says they don't like green in their fish tank, you haven't seen that green. Because it's dope. And this is like a yellow. This is almost like a sunset. I want to say like a mix between yellow, orange uh, with a white rim. The problem is I have this on rocks. And you can't even see the skirt. It just blends right in with those rocks. Yeah, I've been changing the shipping. That's why. I've been trying to lower it for people. Um, Death Mage. And the, the shipping that I have on there, I tried to do a full review and just change everything. But it didn't work. So if the eBay shipping is weird, it's because some corals I had more water, heavier weights, um, weird packing things. I'm trying to eliminate all that stuff for you guys. I know I lose money on shipping sometimes, but at this point in this season, I really just want to get this stuff going and help everyone out. So I'm trying to... Hey, Alex. Good to hear from you, Alex. I am just getting back with everyone and let's see... So, let me put these up here. Since we're up at the computer and I'm <laughs> just posting these things now. But I am going to try to do live inventory updates. So I do have somebody working with me who's going to start doing that stuff and helping. Um, man, I'm like, what, what coral should I click on? I'm like, all these look cool. Let me see what you said, Death Maze. Um, It should all be one price. So especially if you're buying multiples. I agree. It should all be one price. I used to try to figure it out. Um, but because of the boxing charges, because you have to pay people to box and bag and insurance and this and that, I try to pay it for that for everyone. I try not to hold anyone up on those charges. But people are really quick to refuse insurance, but they're also really quick to call if something happens. So, you know, I, I'm figuring that out. But yeah, if, if they're shipping online, $29, um, I'll, I'll do. Anyone, any order, I'll ship for $29 right now. So I'm trying to update that today on eBay. If you see something, Death Mage, send me a message and I will fix it for you. Okay? I will make sure that you get what you need. And I'm going to have to go take more pictures. But these are the ones I just took for you guys for now that I'm uploading. So if you see something on here you like, Feel free to scream it out, and I will save it for you. Um, and Gabriel, I still have that Micromusa. 
That thing is wicked. I have so much stuff in here. I'm afraid to click all this stuff in front of you guys, but there's my Orifix when I got them in. And I'm still holding my phone like a retard, which is funny. I'm looking at my computer screen through my phone instead of, um, yeah. And I, what is today's date? Is it almost December already? Jeez. Time just goes by too fast. So I'm trying to teach um, people how to upload and take pictures of coral and how to eliminate the blue. So we do have different cameras. And like I said, I'm working with a new guy who I'm training. And here's one of the recordings that we took. And I only have one that awesome. So if someone's interested in that recording, feel free. And then Ghanis. Definitely. I got tons of these little pink Ghanis. They're gorgeous. But... It's funny how my biggest sellers are usually euphelias and acans, I would say. Most of the stuff like favias that I absolutely love, no one really knows about them. Unless they see them in person, they just don't understand the beauty. So they get overlooked online. Nope, that's the same one. How do I do this? I have one of those crazy mice, but that's too many buttons on the side. One of those gamer mouses for all you gamer fans. So, all right, I think I'm I'm good for now on this, guys. I'm gonna walk down and, like I said, upload some more stuff. Um, take more pictures. When you complete the video, let's see what you're saying. Amar. Um... Oh, that's cool, Amar. Um, do you did you email me? Do you have um, if you haven't yet, send me a message at infocorelust.com. And then I'll have your email and I'll send you those pictures immediately. So they are awesome. And like I said, killer, killer deal on those rock and enemies. And they're a pretty decent size. So, and this is my all-time favorite shirt. I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> That's my tank top. When you put your arms in the fish tank, I'm always wearing tank tops. It can be winter time and I have a tank top on. It's because my arms are always in the fish tanks. So those of you coral people understand um where's that wicked oh here it is i didn't show you guys really this thing this is the most craziest hairy mushroom i mean there's crazier out there but not for this price normally this is like a 200 to 400 dollar mushroom it was the size of a dinner plate and i cut it into four pieces and it's still each mushroom's like a baseball it's a hairy mushroom and it has blue it's got like black in it it's got green yellow bubbles now, you, you don't really notice the bubbles are yellow right now in this picture. Um, I didn't color correct this, but there's yellow bubbles on that. So it is pretty wicked. Um, I think one of them is called like a magic carpet or something. It's pretty cool. Dang, there's more chalices. Like I said, guys, for all my chalice fans, if you buy, what did I say, $25 a chalice. Um, if you buy two, four, six, if you buy at least three of them, I'll drop it down to $20 a chalice. So I'll give you three top-notch chalices for 60 bucks. Yeah, I'll pick you out three cool ones. This one's wicked. I don't know. I, I used to be obsessed with chalices. I used to spend like $1,000 from Jason Fox just getting chalices. Um, but yeah, I lost a lot of mine in my crash. So I'm slowly, like I said, I'm building back up my, my stuff. But here's another wicked chalice. It's got yellow lines in it. Um, it's like a green and yellow, but the outside's yellow, which is pretty wicked. Um, cool rim. Yeah, chalices are, are cool. That's, dude, I'll do that for 25 bucks, like I said. Any of these pictures I took right now, I'll do $25 on. Even, even the monster. So first come, first serve. I'm terrible at that. A lot of times I'll go back and read people's emails and I'll have three people want the same thing. So I kind of just tell people first come, first serve. Um, there's a cool A-can frag. I do have some rainbows down there too. I just got to pull them out. But anyway. Hmm. And this is the um, cornbread's the thing. This acro right here. That's actually a pretty nice piece of it. And I think they sell it for a lot. Somebody go look up cornbread's the thing. Just curious what they sell that for. Um, but yeah, 25 bucks, that big piece right there. 
<laughs> Just pick something. We'll get. We'll give you guys anything. Um, that's a cool Fabia. Definitely cool. Duncan's are always a fan. Oh, my phone battery, two percent again, and I'm trying to click my um, mouse like like my phone. Like I can't do that. Um, you know, Jeremy, it's funny. I upgrade everyone if I can to overnight shipping, and that's one of the things I'm trying to do with the new website. Tell me if you're home, and tell me if you want to ship to your work, because I really I pay for the overnight shipping because. Sometimes I just don't want your corals to die. If you guys are too cheap to pay, not to be mean to you, but if you're willing to take that risk and you don't want to pay the insurance, I, I'll pay for it because I'm just so afraid, you know, on orders that I can't replace. You know, I may only have one of a coral or something. So it's tough. Keeping everyone happy all the time it is a tough thing. Like I said, until I, my business grows and it's big enough where we can eat up the losses. Once we're eating up the losses, I'm such a nice guy, I don't care. But... In the meantime, I'm, you know, got to struggle till it's. Um, and torches. I do have some torches. I, I will. These are the colors. It's a nice purple with a yellow. This is a terrible picture. The lights were a little off when I took it, but beautiful purple body with like a gold yellow tips. So that's a really nice torch. Um, and I think they start at 75, but I could probably lower them today to probably like. 59, 60, uh, I'll have to look at the sizes. Some are two heads, some are three heads, so, but I'll look. But anybody who wants something today, feel free. I will look it up for you and ship it out. Thanksgiving week's over, so I don't really have to worry about anything else. Um, you know, I was scanning through my photos the other day, and I came across something horrific, and, yeah, hey, look at me. I used to be a fitness dude. Check it out. It was Danny when I was popular and good looking. Um, yeah, so it's coming on the one year anniversary of. Uh, there's me getting kicked by a horse. That was great. Emergency room. Fabulous. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't even want to open the folder because I don't even want to show you guys. But it was where I got cut by the saw. And all the pictures from when I got mauled by it. Um, yeah, actually, I can get like flashbacks just look, thinking about it. But Ice them boys. How do I order? Just send me a text message or e email me right now. I'm being very, very informal just because of, like I said, I have a lot to catch up on. So this is my um, my way of giving you guys a live sale. I'm so sorry. We could walk downstairs and I could probably do it that way. <laughs> So, so, yeah, anyone, like I said, just feel free. Send me a message. This is wicked. I, I'm a big bounce mushroom fan. Look at all those bubbles. I want a store tank that is just bounce mushrooms and jawbreakers. And I think I'm running a special on my Sunkiss bounces right now. I think 250 or something. I have to look up. Look them up as well. But I'd rather clear out an inventory before we move over to the new store. I don't want anything dying. So I'd rather give you guys a good deal. And if it helps everyone out and everyone's happy, I'm more pleased with seeing it go to a good home. Because there's many times I've tried to move and you just lose stuff. And it's, it's sad. Um, you can't, we can't win them all. Man. Here's a Welzer that fell in the sand. This thing was a $900 Welzophilia. It fell upside down. I ended up um, selling it to a guy for 150 bucks at a frag show. Um, he knew what it was. So I just told him, I said, this is, it's one of those diamond in the rough. Some people like to get a coral when it's beat up and it's not as ugly looking, but if you've seen this thing on its prime, you would know, you know, what it, what it's worth. It's just that. The tissue's healthy. There was a couple die-off spots, but they were colored in coralline algae, so you knew that it, you know, was a long time ago and it's been healing. So, but yeah. And here's a crazy Fabia. And the nice thing about a Fabia is when you put it on a rock, you're not going to get any of those ugly polyps or anything weird in between of it. 
It's going to encrust the rock and take the shape. It's going to look awesome. Very easy, very hardy corals. Um, they like lower light, so you can put them at the base of your tank. Uh, places that are shaded, they do really well. So think of Favius. I'm sure not too many people want to collect them or something, but they're they're pretty awesome. So, all right, guys, that's that. I'm done for now. I am going to go finish uploading these things. But like I said, feel free. You can text me. My number is 267-626-6897. If you guys want to send me a message, you can text me your order request. Or you can um, send me an email to info at Coralust.com. Or feel free to Facebook me or Instagram message. There's so many ways. So my phone is going to shut off in one second. Talk to Dan. He said, common soft growth like letters and Xeno are getting hard to find. You know, it's funny, Jeremy, that you said that. Because I started culturing some of my soft corals and saving them just for that reason. Like my crown royal leather, I've been cutting pieces and, and trying to... They're hard to frag because they take some months to stick to stuff. You either got to sew them onto a frag plug or they just... They don't like to adhere. But yeah, soft corals are underrated sometimes. People don't give them the credit they deserve. But that's one of the reasons why my mixed reef is going to become in the store more of species only tanks because it's easier to have success with species only tanks because the lighting requirements are in the water is going to be more beneficial unreal unreal these colors it is awesome and then that thing on the side just doing something so but anyone feel free like i said i'm going to sign off in a second feel free message me um you're always welcome to if you have any questions. I know this is a busy time of year and a busy time for my business with us opening the new store. But I really just, you know, just trying to keep up with everything. So this is getting moved downstairs. This will start getting put back to use. I'm going to start doing more aquascaping sculptures and stuff and doing custom sand waterfalls. So those of you who saw my sand waterfall tank the other day, I have literally fell in love with the um, idea of building fish tanks. So the coral and stuff I love, but what I really obsessed with now is I want to redo aquascaping. I want sand waterfalls or real waterfalls, even if it's like a rock that is just spilling water down. I love it. The sound of this tank is just mesmerizing. The only problem is, guys, you wouldn't believe this. I had a spider put a spider web in the tank in the back and he was catching the fruit flies and you know because you got to get fruit flies for the frogs so it's good for the frogs but the spider thought he would build a home when he did that it was just a mess he killed some of my plants um, they weren't getting water and it's interesting i'm surprised but there's a little brown mess where that spider web is and i will clean that out later but my phone is now officially flashing so that means it's time to go um, the Axolata loves worms. I gave him a fresh worm the other day, and it was the coolest thing. He jumped up and ate it. It was very, very fun. So I will feed the Axolata more worms. And with all the rain, <laughs> such a long live stream. Gabriel, you're awesome. Was that a, um, a pack of what? Mixed? You have to, <laughs> you'll have to be a little more uh, specific. So, yeah, check out our kiosk system. I'm so excited to get these up and running. And I got that building an obsession camera thing. So where is my charger? All right. Yeah, guys, my phone is flashing, flashing. So I literally don't know it's going to shut off. Um, where's my plugs? And <laughs> I have no plug. Let's see if I can get to the basement before this powers down. Shit. Uh, I'm going to lose you guys. It's flashing. No! 